Oh, snappers, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, my name is Python, and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. Back with episode number 40, would you believe? Yep, we're finally back after a couple months hiatus, where I was, of course, running the Terraria Legendary Mode series. Ugh. Every time I even speak that name, I get World War II style flashbacks. Yikes. But yes, welcome back to the Let's Play world, my friends. And we have some fun stuff to do today, my friends. For example, checking out some of the 1.4.4 features. Namely, this Terrorblade Overhaul. Oh, -ho -ho! it looks a little bit different compared to the last episode. And that is because Terraria 1.4.4 has come out since episode 39. And features a bunch of overhauled melee weapons. The Terrorblade being one of them. The Knight's Edge being another one. But of course, we discovered that in the Legendary Mode series itself. So, yeah, we've got some fun stuff to do, my friends. So, if you are excited for the return of this series here, then please do be sure to head down beneath the video and show your support in the form of a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Of course, if you want to catch up on this series, there will of course be a link to the series playlist either on screen or in the description or both. If you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on the future episodes from the series, subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. And if you really want to go one further with your support, use code Python when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. So then, the big elephant in the room to mention is Shimmer. Now, because this world was generated in Terraria 1.4.3 and thus is now an old world, we don't actually have access to Shimmer in this world just yet. So, what I think we need to do is we need to go ahead and turn our attention to hopefully taking down Moon Lord sometime soon. Because, apparently, according to the wiki, you can get a bottomless Shimmer bucket, which requires 10 Luminite bars and a bottomless water bucket at an ancient manipulator. So, for those of you guys unaware, the point in which we got to in this series, progression-wise, is we got to the point of taking down the Old Ones Army, Tier 2, taking down Plantera, and taking down the Pirate Invasion. So, what that means is, next of all, we have Golem. Alright, so we're going to start off today's episode by exploring the Golem Temple. We're going to see what kind of things we can find over there. And we're going to have ourselves a really good time. And because we have ourselves the grand design, it means that we can see all of the traps that are nearby. Excuse me? Wait, why can't I? Have they actually nerfed that? Was that nerfed in 1.4.4? Does anyone know? Usually, I'd be able to see all of the various traps and the various wiring that makes those traps, you know, actually work. But now I can't. So what that means for us, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to have to be nice and careful. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to go ahead and dig up all of these various pressure plates so we don't wind up dying horrifically. We don't want that, do we? No, 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 no. All right, so we'll continue on here. Oh, sweet lord, that's a lot of dudes. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> the overhaul terror blade, dudes. Wow. Just, wow. Man, that is nuts. It does so much damage, man. <laughs> this thing was already mad powerful. But somehow, for some reason... They made it even more powerful. Yeah! Goodbye, foul lizard dudes! <laughs> I, just, I just can't believe it. I can't believe how freaking powerful this thing is now, man. Oh, I suppose I'll get used to it before too long, but, um, you know, j just, just let me enjoy my gushing at this weapon. Because my oh my, is it fabulous now. Not that it wasn't fabulous before already, of course. All right, guys. So here we are in the main uh, boss room. Needless to say, we're going to go ahead and dismantle all of these traps first of all. And we will see if we can do something about making this as safe as possible by potentially ridding the spikes that may reside in here. For example, these ones down here. Yeah, we need to very much get rid of these, don't we? Ah, turns out there's barely any spikes in this room to start off with. 
All right. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, right, now obviously, yeah, we don't have the ability to uh, move that thing just yet. I do believe what we are going to be needing is the, what was it, the lizard pickaxe, the pixel? Yeah, we need that bad boy if we want to be moving the little thingy madoo hickey here, the altar. Uh, so that means we will, of course, be going ahead and trying to take down Gollum in this very room. Uh, the bad news is we can't really shape this room to our requirements. However, what I can do is I can place down a bunch of platforms and just sort of hope that that is going to do the job for us, okay? So needless to say, we're going to go full hog with this thing, my friendos. We are going to put down uh, life lanterns, heart lanterns, whatever the devil they are, uh, campfires, all that sort of stuff. The more buffs we have, the better things are going to be. Now, one thing I don't know about this update is whether or not they've actually gone ahead and buffed Gollum. I mean, to be honest, they have tried to buff Gollum many, many times in the past, have they not? And on no occasions has it really made it any more difficult. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a blind first look at the Terraria 1.4.4 Gollum boss. Oh boy, <laughs> it could go well, it could go absolutely horrifically. So as you can see, my friends, we now have ourselves a little bit of a banner collection here. If we can get ourselves a flying snake banner, that would be glorious. It means that any dudes who spawn in here will wind up dying in a very, very, very quick amount of time. So, um, yeah, if we can get ourselves some more, that would be lovely. However, what we can do right now is we can go ahead and start on putting down some little regen stations, okay? Ah, yes, peace candles. Also a good idea, you know? Uh, what else do we have here? Anything of worth? Oh, I was really hoping for a bast statue. Well, uh, doesn't seem to be the case, unfortunately. Uh, would a garden gnome do anything for us? I don't know. Would it, like, raise our chances of getting rare drops from the golem boss? Don't even know what rare drops you might get from the golem boss, to be honest with you. Ah, more furniture. Yes. Uh, we have ourselves deadly spheres, which is great. And there's the bast statue. Oh, snap. Alrighty, so yeah, as I said before, if we're going to do this, we're going to try to do this well, alright? So we've got major improvements to all stats. Uh, I'm going to temporarily put these bad boys away, because major improvements to all stats trumps literally everything else. Uh, what else have we got here? Flasks of Icor! Because we're using melee, oh, that's going to be good, baby! Heart Reach Potion, probably a good idea, although I'm not entirely sure what's going to be dropping hearts down there. Uh, uh, right, we've got Wrath and Rage, of course, you know, the good stuff. Life Force. Oh, look at all this beautiful stuff. Calming, Heart Reach. What else have we got here? We've got ourselves a bit of Iron Skin. There's some regular regen. And screw it, we'll take ourselves some swiftness down as well. All right, so we have the opportunity here to take down six golems if we can get six out of six golems taken down today i am going to be so so happy all right ladies and gentlemen are you folks ready for this am i ready for this i feel like we're about as ready as we're ever going to be now i must admit my friends i am expecting this to be an absolute cakewalk thanks to the fact that i've got myself an overhaul terror blade here whether or not that's actually going to be the case or not is another matter so Let's try this thing. <laughs> All right, so there's a bast statue. There's a beautiful heart lantern. And finally, of course, there's the peace candle. All right, so all of that stuff combined should make us basically invulnerable. Well, not really, but about as invulnerable as we could possibly hope to be. Uh, so let's place down this beautiful bad boy there. How about a couple of these fellas? And... Uh, yeah, I guess the time has come. We're going to do this thing, and it's going to be a whopping great time. Let's have ourselves a third summon now that we can. And, uh, yeah, here we are. Hoping for the best, my friendos. So far, so good. 70,000 health, and we are already getting kind of slapped around a little bit here. Come on. Yeah, I could have sworn I don't remember this guy having like 70,000 health before. 
That seems a little bit nuts, actually. Okay. We already need to go ahead and use ourselves a health potion. Oh, my word. They actually may have gone ahead and uh, buffed this golem boss here. Interesting, to say the very, very least. Oh, do you know what? I now know. I now know why it says 76,000 health, because it combines all of the different segments, right? So, yeah. Unfortunately, I believe this is actually going to be a fail attempt. Oh, he says. Ooh, maybe if we could do a little bit of uh, back and forth here. Oh, ideally, without getting absolutely mauled here. There we are. Come on, fellas. Uh, 8,000 health. It's looking a little bit on the rough side. Who's going to die first? Is it Gollum or me? It is Gollum! Holy crap, holy. We did it first go, ladies and gentlemen. If that doesn't deserve a like rating, I don't know what does. I told you. Did I not tell you? Did I not tell you? In the update sort of post-legendary vlog that Master Mode is going to be easy street compared to legendary mode. Holy guacamole. All right, opening this bad boy up. We have ourselves the shiny stone and a staff of earth, interestingly. Ooh, very interesting. But ladies and gentlemen, we're pretty much gonna do this again. Because why wouldn't I? Yeah, I would really like the pixel. The earlier we get that bad boy, the better things are going to be. For us to be able to take down Gollum wherever we please in the whole world, yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? That really would be rather nice. So, uh, yeah, come on. Just doing a little bit of sort of side to side here. Seems to be doing a relatively okay job. I think I may have noticed one of Gollum's updated AI thingies. In that the punch doesn't really seem to retract when getting hit anymore. Am I the only one who's noticed that? Possibly. Oh, gee whiz. Try not to get squashed there, Pythonator. Come on. Come on. There yeah, we have it. Right, any second now. We're going to have ourselves second phase. There we have it. If I could sort of get myself out of that corner, that'd be lovely. And uh, yeah. Come on. Do your little jumpy, jumpy thing. Yeah, it's when he does the jumpy, jumpy thing. That's when we can... Oh, gee whiz. That's when we can sort of do the most amount of damage here. He says as he's nearly dead. Ooh. Nope. He took him out of the game again. Beautiful. There's a sunstone. Ooh. I wonder if that is going to grant us the ability to make ourselves the celestial shell or celestial stone. Whatever it is. Because if we manage to get that bad boy. Oh, man. It's, it's game over, Terraria. That is like the ultimate character stat accessory, isn't it? Oh! Well, there we go, unfortunately, my friends. A little bit of death action going on there. Uh, the good news is the platinum coin is actually still there. Therefore, it is recoverable. As long as that flying snake doesn't go ahead and uh, snag it. <laughs> Oh, dear. All right. Well, I think we're going to keep going until we get ourselves the pixel. I really do need that bad boy. But before we do that, I'd like to go ahead and see if we now have the ability to make ourselves the celestial shell or stone. I can't remember which way around it is, whether you get the shell first or the stone first. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Do you know what? I think I know what I can make right now. If I was to put this stuff in my inventory, uh, can I make the full set of beetle armor? Yes, I can. Oh, ho, ho. oh, snap. All right. So there's the trousers. Do we go for offensive or defensive? Uh, do you know what? I'm going to go for defensive for once. Usually I'd go for offensive, but... I figured a little bit of a change might be in order. 91 defense. That's a lot, my friends. That is a lot. Beetles protect you from damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Python, the ultimate beetle dude. Ah, okay. So we have ourselves a moonstone. That's definitely another part of the puzzle. I think the Neptune shell is another part of the puzzle. I think the final thing is actually the moon charm, which I do not seem to have access to. 
Uh, unless I've already got it on me. No, I do not. Uh, right, what can I do here then? There it is, the Celestial Stone. Sort of the demigod character stat boosting accessory here, isn't it? If we could get ourselves a moon charm, that would be absolutely lovely. It's just occurred to me as well that we haven't got ourselves the Master Mode exclusive drop for Gollum just yet. So that's another reason to keep on going with the grind here. Uh, Shura Cthulhu... Ooh, is there something here that we could potentially take off? Maybe the yo-yo bag temporarily since we weren't using yo-yos, in fact, at all in that fight. Uh, yeah, maybe we try and get ourselves a little bit of warding or menacing on our Celestial Stone. And then, yeah, like I say, kind of the demigod character stat boosting accessory, isn't it? Oh, well, uh, that's actually kind of cool. A little bit of menacing for your boy. Very, very nice. So we have 153 damage with it on. And without it, we have 140 Wow, that's pretty significant, isn't it? All right, there we are. Got our coins back. Uh, wait, where's my piggy bank? Oh, yeah, that's right. We've got ourselves the Chester dude, right? Yeah, that's right. I done forgot like a goofball. All right, boof. And uh, three summons. And ladies and gentlemen, back to the grinding. All right, there goes another golem. No sign of a master mode drop though, so I'm pretty much just gonna keep on going. Oh, snap, oh! <laughs> I got a bit close to that one, my friendos. I think a little bit of regen is needed before the next fight. I'll tell you what, my friends, though. It's going to be a sad day when we have to bid the Terror Blade at least a temporary farewell when we craft it eventually into the Zenith, right? I mean, there's nothing to say that we can't go ahead and get ourselves a second Terror Blade later down the line after creating the Zenith. But, you know, it's still going to be a sad day because this weapon... I mean, it's got to be, like, one of the top five weapons in the entire game now. I mean, it probably was before as well, but it might have become even better. It might be even higher up now. And there goes another one, ladies and gentlemen. And would you believe, still no sign of the Master Mode drop, man. How is that possible? We've taken down a mad amount of these guys so far. And still in nothing. And ladies and gentlemen, he goes bye-bye again. And there we have it. Finally. The Guardian Golem has been obtained, ladies and gentlemen. And better still, we have ourselves four Golem treasure bags to open up. So what are we going to get here? Eye of the Golem. Another unique drop. There's the Pixel. Yeah. The immediate thing we're going to do with that is take this lizard altar. What that has unlocked the ability to do, my friends, is to take Gollum out no matter where we are in the world. We don't have to use this area anymore. And do you know what? We're totally not. We're going to reclaim all of these little arena items and we are going to head on home with them. However, the next thing we're going to do is open up the last two Gollum treasure bags. We have ourselves a possessed hatchet very, very nice. And finally, another Staff of Earth. Very good. And look at that. Another platinum coin for your boy. Oh, it's great though, isn't it? <laughs> we have basically taken care of Gollum in its entirety. I don't know that we're going to have to take Gollum down like ever again. Aside from maybe to grind out a certain weapon or something or other. Probably worth pointing out that we've got Two of these lizard eggs. Uh, something I wasn't expecting to get today, but somehow we managed to get not one, but two of them. <laughs> oh, pretty awesome stuff, my friends. I am very much looking forward to putting some of these weapons here into action, particularly the possessed hatchet, because of course, as it says right there, it chases after enemies. It homes in on them. This thing is particularly good against Duke Fish one, so I'm looking forward to giving that a bit of a go. Alrighty, my friends, before wrapping up the episode, I'd like to go ahead and see if I can't reforge our pixel here. Maybe we can get ourselves, oh, as much as godly is nice, I would actually prefer to have light or just something that's got a bit of plus speed to it. Ah, uh, go on. All right, deadly plus speed. You know what? I'll take it. I'm not going to complain about that one, my friends. Uh, now, if I could get godly on the possessed hatchet. Oh, there it is. Oh, beautiful. Then I am going to be so, so happy. So there we are. The pickaxe axe has finally found the retirement home. Uh, and the possessed hatchet, I would like to go ahead and put this on. 
Oh boy, but what do we put it on in place of? Because we have rather a hefty smorgasbord of weapons here, my friends. Oh my gosh. When you've got so many ranger weapons that you've actually ran out of space in your ranger weapons chest. Oh wait, no, no, hang on a minute. No, I haven't. There we go. We don't need no duplicate boomstick now, do we? And just to check it out here real quick, we actually already have a bottomless water bucket for the eventual bottomless shimmer bucket. But what we need to do, so we have the collection of, you know, all of the bottomless buckets, we need to get ourselves another one of these. Oh, yeah. So, at some point, we're going to need to go back to doing some fishing. We try and get lucky, get ourselves a second bottomless water bucket, and we can recommend the grind towards 1,000 fishing crates, my friends. As you can see, we have a pretty significant amount of them here, but it's nowhere near our goal, my friends. It's kind of funny, though, isn't it? On my Minecraft Let's Play series, we're going for the goal of mining up 1,000 diamond ore, and on this series, we're going for the goal of trying to fish up 1,000 fishing crates. <laughs> Ooh, but which goal is more interesting? Mm-hmm. I would have to say the goal of a thousand crates because you just never know what you're going to get. Well, I mean, yeah, you kind of do know what you're going to get to an extent, but you might get some super red stuff. You just never know, huh? Anyways, my friends, it is time to wrap up the episode. But before we do that, we can put away the Guardian Golem. That is the next Master Mode exclusive drop gotten, and I'm feeling pretty happy about that. But let's wrap it up with the comment of the day. LM says, the Tome of Infinite Wisdom is actually very good. If you left click, it has an alternate attack that infinitely pierces. It's extremely good against crowds and events. I recommend you give it a chance. The Tome of Infinite Wisdom. Have we already managed to grab that bad boy? I must admit, I can't remember. Uh, is it in here by any chance? Oh yeah, there it is. Ooh. Hmm. What do you guys think, huh? Maybe at some point soon it will be time to switch ourselves to a mage set. And if we're going to do that, I feel like it would be a nice idea to go for the Spectre Armor. I mean, that would be next, right? Spectre Armor. Oh, snappers. Guys, we've got some interesting times still to come on this series. But... For now, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's return episode and you're excited to see more of this series here, then please do be sure, of course, to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, my friends. Thank you for all your support and especially your patience. I hope you guys are as excited for the return of the series as I am. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can tell in my voice that I'm pretty hyped to have this back. But yeah, thanks for watching, my friends. Thank you for your support. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.